Hello YouTube, the gun out here. It's another great day to be an American. Let freedom reign. So today I'm doing a video to share my new 1911 and talk about uh, the features. So I recently decided I wanted to purchase my first 1911 and I looked at several different models and ended up going with the Smith & Smith and Wesson SW 1911. So this is a government um, model type pistol so it has a five inch barrel. This is an all stainless steel pistol, and I'm gonna start at the uh, muzzle end and work our way, way back. So starting at the muzzle, you can see this does have a standard barrel bushing setup. And if you saw my first video on this, I forgot to mention that Smith & Wesson does include a barrel bushing wrench, so that's nice. So the barrel is a five inch stainless steel barrel, and the front sight is a Novak and the rear sight, Novak style sights. They are three dot sights. I realize I'm going all the way to the back, but there you can see those sights. Next up, we'll look at the slide and the serrations on that. So it has this kind of fish scale serrations here, front and rear. Uh, they're very aggressive, so they are do provide a lot of purchase for doing things like press checks. Very easy to do that if you guys are into that sort of thing. And on the, on the side of the slide here, you'll see how they have the engraving or the laser engraving here with the trademark for Smith & Wesson as well as the model number, which is SW1911. Uh, you can see here on the frame, they have to remind you that it can fire with the magazine removed. Uh, on the top of the slide, you'll see it's a matte bead blast type finish. So it's a matte finish. It also has serrations here to uh, reduce glare for your sighting plane, although honestly I don't know if I've ever had an issue where I've had glare there. On the side of the slide you can see the contrast there. I think that'll come through where it's like more of a high polish and bright finish on the slide on the side of the slide which is really nice. It really is a makes it look really uh, really good so I like that. Um, you'll see it is obviously your typical stainless steel frame you can see the controls are all black, which is a nice contrast here for the, the slide uh, stop, the safety, and the magazine release. And the other side, you can see the extractor is also that matte black finish, as well as the, the back part of the hammer has that matte black finish to it. Taking a look at the trigger, it is a little bit heavier than I was hoping for. So it comes in right at five pounds is what I'm seeing on the trigger pull scale. You guys will have to believe me on that because I'm not getting it out right now. The, but it, overall it feels crisp. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not quite what I was hoping for. I was hoping for maybe like four to four and a half, but I know that can be eventually rectified, but it seems like a fine trigger. Taking a look at the magazine release. The magazines fly out of here, so even you know from from the side like that, they fly out. So taking a look at the grips, these grips are they call them lab, laminated uh, wood. They look really nice on the gun, I will say that. Although I don't find the checkering to be aggressive enough, so I would have really liked a more aggressive uh, grip texture. My plan was to change these out anyways with G10 type grips, probably VZ grips. But I really like how it looks with these, so it's kind of hard for me to do, you know, kind of like to keep it this way, but we'll see. I'm probably going to put VZ grips on it. The front strap is checkered. The back strap feels more aggressive than the front, although it looks similar. So it does come you know, with eight round mags, stainless steel mags. They seem good. I mean, they've worked so far, no issues. I'll get to that in a minute. It does have the polymer follower and the polymer uh, base plate. So we'll go into the back of the gun again. The bump on the grip safety to help make sure you depress it when you're grabbing the gun. It has a nice beaver tail on it as well. Keep you from getting slide bite. So on this side, you can see the oversized extractor which I know 1911 purists probably don't like that, but uh, seems fine by me. Take a look inside here. It 
and also uh, it has the full length guide rod. I'll go ahead and disassemble the gun here and show you the show you the inside. Well, here's what my uh, Smith and Wesson E Series 1911 looks like disassembled. See the checkering on the front strap, in the back. Let's see the injector. See the polished feed ramp there. Really looks well made. Here's what the slide looks like. There's the barrel, barrel link. See the rifling in there. Looks thinner than uh, a lot of my other gun barrels, because it's uh, 45. You can see the slide release and the barrel bushing. Obviously, spring. Not sure what this part is even called. Retainer, maybe. And full length guide rod. So, as you can see on the barrel here, it is in 45 ACP. According to Smith & Wesson's literature, this weighs 39.6 ounces. It is 8.7 inches in overall length. The model number is SW1911. The product code is 108482. These guns on Smith & Wesson's website currently has a, a manufacturer suggested retail price of $979. I picked mine up for $180 less than that. A couple of features I haven't mentioned yet. It does have the larger improved ejection port. It does have a titanium firing pin. It is a Series 70 style trigger, so it does not have that uh, firing pin block. And I did have this out to the range briefly this past weekend, put 70 rounds through it with no issues. Granted, it was just 230 grain uh, hardball, uh, both uh, CCI Blazer and some Federal. So no issues with, with that though. We'll continue to put some rounds through it and I'll come back with a more detailed review. And one thing I should point out is there's I can get it to move slightly, but this gun does not rattle. Like, I've held some of them that rattle quite a bit. So it seems like the fit and finish is really good. So I'm excited to continue to shoot this and bring some more uh, results back to you guys and give you the full review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You guys be safe out there.